Hi, welcome to my channel, welcome to my living room, also known as my workout space. I'm really happy to have you here, whether you are a new mother or an experienced mother or just a woman who is very, very busy. I'm happy to share with you 10 minute workout. Today, we're gonna to focus on the shoulders, on our posture, on our back. So to really release any tension from those areas, but also to strengthen those areas. For the workout today, you only need a mat or a soft floor. And let's start. We're gonna start sitting down on the floor. I'm sitting down on my knees, but feel free to sit down on your bum. Breathe in. Just before we start, let's just kind of relax, catch our breath. Think about lengthening our spine, growing taller here, relaxing the shoulders, inhale through the nose, and exhale down. We're all running everything we know. Our day is so busy. It's really important to take even just five minutes, uh, five seconds, sorry, from our day to breathe. If you can, five minutes will be better. Good, and let's start with some shoulder circles. So breathe and lift the arms up. Take them all the way to the back, squeeze your shoulder blades and finish the circle. Inhale, lift and take them to the back. Good, so really try to enjoy the full range of motion of your hands here as you lift the arms up and take it to the back, squeeze the shoulder blades, inhale, lift and back. Good, let's switch directions. So take it from the back and to the front. Breathe it and reach. Try to keep your fingers stretched. So great energy coming all the way from your fingertips. This will kind of activate your muscles even more. Last one. And down, perfect. And shake it here, good. Let's pop our, pump our hands a little bit. So we're gonna open and close our fingers. So making a fist and open our hands. Make, you can kind of bring the thumb in and out as you open and close. Again, just to pump up our blood and oxygen. Excellent. Perfect. And shake it here. We're gonna come to all four position on our hands and knees. Let's place our hands just below the shoulder, knees below your hips, legs and hips, shoulder and, dis and hips distance apart. As we inhale to prepare first, as we exhale now, we're gonna start sinking down with our chest, but let's see that I'm not bending my elbows. I'm keeping my hands straight. I'm just sinking down with my shoulders, so with my chest, sorry, so I'm bringing my shoulder blades together and, as I, and then lift up. So one more time. Breathe in, let's sink down with the shoulders. So like you wanna bring the chest closer to the floor and as you exhale, push them away. Again, without bending those elbows, but try not to lock the elbows as well. Sink down. Now my tummy is engaged. So I'm not dropping the tummy, I'm not arching my back. Try to keep your spine straight. Imagine there's like a stick on the, on the length of your back here on your spine. So you wanna keep that stick in place and spread apart. Maybe even kind of place like a pen in between your shoulder blades, like you want to squeeze that pen or pencil. And down, good. So focusing on the shoulder blades. So one more time, sink down and breathe that lift. Good. Hold it here, neutral spine. We're going to take it to a needle pulling thread. So as you inhale, let's switch with one hand up to the sky. Open your chest. Exhale, same hand comes under. Thread the needle under the other hand and reach all the way down. If possible, see if you can find the way to place your ear and shoulder down towards the floor. Take a deep inhale, let's open the hand out again. Breathe in, same hand, open the chest, look up. Like you wanna reach something from a high shelf from the ceiling. Exhale, same hand goes all the way down, thread the needle, slide it, and if possible, reach the ear and shoulder down. See how that feels. One more time, breathe in, reach the hand up. Excellent, exhale, take it down. Last one, hold it here. The other hand now, keep it in the same place if you want, or maybe reach it up to the sky and give your spine an extra twist. And if you want, maybe wrap that hand and try to see if you can find your opposite leg and maybe open your chest a little bit more, only if it feels good. Good, let's slowly bring the hand down and slowly help yourself back to place both hands. If you need to shake those wrists a little bit, maybe a little bit, kind of get a little bit uh, hurt here. Let's take it to the other side. Ready, adjust the position, hands below the shoulder, knees below your hips. Inhale, open now the other hand, look up to the sky. And as you exhale, same hand, thread the needle under the other hand as you reach down, if possible, find your ear. <laughs> find, sorry, the ear finds the floor. And as you exhale, one more time. Lift up, breathe in. And breathe out down. 
Good, if possible, the ear finds the floor, shoulders down. If not, maybe you're here today, that's okay. Keep trying, see how that feels. One more time, last one. Inhale, open the chest out. Exhale, thread the needle, hand comes all the way down. And if you prefer, you can stay here. If you want, maybe reach the other hand up to the sky. Hold it here, and if you want, maybe wrap it around your spine and try to see if you can find the opposite side. Breathe in. Not very, very comfortable, but it's great for your shoulders, for your spine. Slowly bring one hand at a time. Lift the other hand, let's take it to a nice child pose. Let's do just three pulses, buttocks to our heels. And down, good. From here, we're gonna take it now to a puppy pose, a great position to open the shoulders. So we're gonna keep our knees down on the floor. I'm just gonna slide a little bit towards the back. And now walk with our hands, start walking with our hands with, well, keeping, while keeping our hips above your knees so you're not shifting the weights forward, the weight forward. Slowly, slowly, until you, you can come down all the way to the floor. If possible, the chest reaches down. Maybe the tip of the nose or maybe your chin. See what works for you. The idea is that we're opening our shoulders here. You might feel it's a very intense stretch, so do what's good for you. Breathe in and out. Excellent. Relax it here. Very good stretch to open the shoulders, open the spine. Again, whatever feels good to you, take a deep inhale through the nose. Longer exhale through the mouth. Excellent. One more time. Perfect. Slowly, slowly, let's get out of this pose. Walk with your hand towards your knees. Good. And let's take it to a nice resting pose. Let's bring the hands closer to our feet. So we are relaxing our shoulders and wrists for a second, rounding our back, kind of counter pose for the good extension. And then place your hands down and slowly, slowly roll up. Take your time, head comes up last. Good. We're gonna now take it to a sitting position. Continue to work on our shoulder and the shoulder blades to really strengthen our posture. Sitting down on our bum, we're gonna open our hands so creating kind of a cactus arm, so elbows are lifted. Try not to stay too low, try to keep them in shoulder height. Now we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together and slightly relax them down. I'm gonna turn so you can see my back. So it's a little bit similar to what we have done on all four. So squeeze the shoulder blades and relax. Breathe in, squeeze and relax. Now while I'm doing that, those squeezes here, try not to kind of puff your chest, okay? Really work from the shoulder blades. Breathe in and breathe out. So it's not about arching the back, and I'm gonna show it to you from the side. It's not about arching the back or kind of looking what's happening here, no. We wanna keep our spine stretched and just squeeze the shoulder blades, okay? Try it and see how the difference. This is great also for your arms, I'm sure you're feeling it. Inhale, squeeze, and back. Great exercise for the posture to strengthen those muscles in your upper back, especially for Mommies who all day long gonna lean forward to take care of the baby, change diapers, feed, nurse, whatever. This area is very, very stiff and gets very weak. So it's important to strengthen that area. Just two more. Excellent, last one, I'm sure you're feeling it. And relax, great job. Let's shake those hands. Bring your chin to the chest, just kinda lengthen the neck a little bit, the one that we worked on. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. Let's slowly come all the way on our tummy to work a little bit more on our back. So we're gonna keep our hands down on the floor. So one hand on top of the other and relax your head down on your forehead on your hands. Take a deep D, inhale to prepare. Keep your pubic bone down on the floor. And on the exhale, slowly start lifting your chest and head up but don't look up. So you wanna keep your head parallel to the floor. From here, let's lift one hand toward the forehead. Breathe in and out, lift the other hand up. So both hands are lifting. If you can try to lift even more. Slowly bring everything down, both the hands and the head down toward the floor. And let's repeat, inhale to prepare. Exhale, scoop the tummy in, pubic bone comes closer to the floor, lift just the head up, head and chest. Let's lift one hand towards the forehead. Let's lift the other hand towards the forehead and slowly come down towards the floor. One more time, deep inhale, and exhale, lift. Perfect. One hand at a time, lift up, lift up, take it down, wonderful, breathe in. Breathe out, lift, lift up, and up, and slowly take it down. Good, last one, deep inhale, 
exhale scoop the tummy in lift and up and up and take it down great job let's take it to again to a child pose position so slowly help yourself to lift back on your knees to a child pose buttocks to your heels and relax it here breathe in and out perfect and slowly walk with your hands towards your knees rolling up your head slowly good just one short exercise to, fit, to wrap it up for today again for our shoulders it's called the pretzel arm and don't blame me if you get hungry after this we're gonna bring our hands opposite directions and let them walk away from us so sitting up crossing your legs slowly placing one hand in front of the other and from here we're going to slowly walk with our hands away as far as further as you can and then if possible try to drop your head and just allow the gravity to pull you down you might feel a good stretch in your buttocks you might feel a stretch in your shoulder as long as it feels like a good stretch and not a pinching pain all is good everyone feels it differently we're just going to inhale and exhale we're not going to hold it for long today but I do want you to feel the sensation here, how it really opens your back. Now we're separating the shoulder blades, a little bit opposite um, movement to what we have done before. Good, take a deep inhale one more time and exhale, maybe walk with your hands a little bit further and let's slowly walk with our hands back, slowly take your time and let's switch sides. So bring one hand forward, one hand to the back and again, start walking away and then a dropping your head down. Again, if you're not Maybe you're here, that's okay. Maybe you're here, that's fine. This is your body, right? So do what's best for you. But if you keep practicing, I'm sure you would feel and see the difference. So take your time with it. It's not about, you know, reaching the goal today. It's about being here, moving, taking care of yourself. Don't forget to breathe, inhale through the nose, maybe take a little bit further. Feel the stretch in your shoulders, excellent. And let's walk with our hands slowly, 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 roll up. Head comes up last, good. Let's bring the hands behind our back and just kind of stretch, kind of pose here, extend our back. Excellent, back to the center. And that's it. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that you find joy within the movement. I hope your body's feeling a bit more open, a little bit more relaxed, but maybe a little bit stronger as well. Thank you much for, thanks again for joining. Let's finish the workout with some good inhale and exhale. Good, let me know what you think. Let me know what other workouts you would like to see. Last one, deep inhale, hands go up. Slowly bring it down to your chest, to your heart. And if you wanna learn more about my workout, be sure to check my channel. I have a great postnatal uh, program coming out soon, so check it out. And I hope to see you again in my channel. Till then, I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.